10 Places to Visit in London London, the capital city of the United Kingdom is one of the most visited cities of the world. It is an assortment in real senses of the word. From finding people of various ethnicity to tall structures dating from the Roman times, from magnificent palaces to museums with exquisite artifacts, from the luscious green parks to high-end stores, London has it all. It is famous for being a spot for some of the world's best restaurants, pubs, bars and clubs. It is also known for its art and theater with a home to many play theaters, museums and art galleries. London is also a home to some of the most prestigious colleges and universities of the world, with a well-connected network of buses, cabs, trains and tubes. Traveling within London is easier and affordable too. Standing on the banks of River Thames, this city is as old as 43 AD. While the city is highly modernized, it still conserves its royalty and culture. London cannot be discovered in a day or two but we bring to you the top 10 places to visit in London. 10. Royal Observatory Overlooking the River Thames is the is the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, London famous for the location of the Prime Meridian. The Prime Meridian divides the Earth's eastern and western hemisphere. It has a planetarium and astronomy center. You can view astronomy exhibitions, go on a space safari tour, learn about International Space Station and space missions. Watch interactive shows about life beyond the planet, learn the history of time and astronomy and take a guided tour of the observatory. It is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Price tickets for adults is £22.50, children is £11.50 and is free for kids under 5 years. 9. Buckingham Palace the Buckingham Palace stands tall in London as a mark of royalty and the home to the British monarch. The palace is surrounded by beautiful gardens and sculptures and is a must-visit. A traditional ceremony prevalent since the 1800s takes place in the courtyard of the palace visible from outside, the change of guards. It is a colorful display of military bands and British pageantry. The ceremony lasts about 45 minutes and usually takes place daily at 11.30 from April until the end of July and on alternate days for the rest of the year. You can also book a tour to visit rooms inside the Buckingham Palace. The palace is open for visit from the 23rd of July the 31st of August 2016 daily 9.15 to 19.45 and from the 1st of September the 2nd of October 2016 daily. 9.15 to 18.45. A typical visit lasting for around 2 hours 30 minutes can cost adults up to £37 and children up to £33. 8. Natural History Museum Natural History Museum in London is a must-visit for huge displays of artifacts and specimens related to the fields of botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology, zoology, geology and taxonomy. The most striking specimen here is the skeletal of dinosaurs which dominate the central hall. The museum is divided into four zones, red, green, blue and orange. The red zone contains Earth Lab. Earth's Treasury, Vision of Earth and Exhibit of Volcanoes and Earthquakes. The Green Zone harbors ecology with displays of birds, fossil reptiles, minerals and precious stones in the vault. The Blue Zone has displays of mammals, dinosaurs, human biology and marine life. The Orange Zone has a wildlife garden and the T. Darwin Center which is the facility for storing the valuable collections. The entry to the museum is free and it opens from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. 7. Tower of London The Tower of London, also called the Her Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress is an important landmark of London and is a home to British Armoury, Treasury, the Royal Mint and the home of the Crown Jewels of England. The famous Coenor Diamond is also at this tower making it an important place to visit in London. 
This castle was used as a prison, a royal residence and a public office record. The main attractions inside the tower are the Crown Jewels, Yeoman Warder Tours, the White Tower, Ravens and Fortress. The tower is open on Tuesday to Saturday from 9.00 to 17.30 and Sunday and Monday from 10.00 to 17.30. The admission fee is £25 for adults and £12 for children up to 15 years. 6. National Art Gallery For art aficionados, the National Art Gallery at the Trafalgar Square is a must-place to visit in London. There are over 2,300 paintings dating from the mid-13th century. It is one of the most visited art museums in the world. It has displays of paintings by Leonardo da Vinci, Vincent van Gogh, Michelangelo, Mary C. da Caravaggio and Johannes Vermeer. There is a cafeteria and shopping center in the gallery too. The gallery is also a popular film location. It featured in the latest James Bond movie, Skyfall, featuring Daniel Craig and Ben Wishaw. The admission to the museum is free daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Fridays. 5. Madame Tussauds Wax Museum Displaying famous waxworks in London is a must-visit attraction, the Madame Tussauds Museum. It has wax figures of famous politicians, sportsperson, singers, actors and celebrities. There is also a Marvel Secret Command Center which gives an experience of the Hawkeye, Hulk, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Wolverine and Captain America. The Star Wars experience at Madame Tussauds is one to look for and an incredible place to visit in London. The famous heroes, villains and locations from Star Wars built-in wax figures gives a unique experience. The tickets are available as standard, priority entrance and VIP stage starting from £24 to £70. 4. Hyde Park Covering an area of 350 yards is one of London's eight royal parks, the Hyde Park. It is a home to some of the famous landmarks like the Serpentine Lake, Speaker's Corner and the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fountain. There are many engaging events like the Winter Wonderland and the summer concerts which happen at the park. It is a place for leisure and recreational activities including horse riding and boating. It is also a home to a diverse flora and fauna. The landscape of the park is also dominates by memorials, fountains and statues. If you are looking for a relaxed fun time then Hyde Park is the place to visit in London. The entry is free and the park is open from 5 a.m. until midnight. Villains and locations from Star Wars built-in wax figures gives a unique experience. The tickets are available as standard, priority entrance and VIP stage starting from £24 to £70. 3. Lord's Stadium For cricket lovers London offers a visit to the, the home of cricket, the Lord's Cricket Ground. The ground dates back to the 18th century and has a capacity of over 28,000 spectators. Lords also has a comprehensive library which happens to be the largest library dedicated to cricket in the world. Another remarkable place to visit here is the Lords Museum, which is the oldest sports museum of the world with a huge and rare collection of cricket memorabilia and artifacts. Exhibitions and theatres commemorating the legends of cricket are also present here. The stadium is open for tours daily with a price for £20 for adults and £12 for children under 15 years. 2. Notting Hill For a colourful time offering a host of options, Notting Hill is one of the most desirable places to visit in London. In this area you would find events, theatres, restaurants, bookshops, shopping arena and galleries. If you are visiting in August then don't miss the street carnival here which is the biggest of its kind in Europe. The Portobello Market which mainly runs on Fridays and Saturdays offers a wide variety of goods to shop from. This famous and huge street market has everything to offer from breads and fruits to clothes, antiques, posters and jewelry. This area also has some very famous restaurants, pubs and cinemas theatres. 1. London Eye 
For an unforgettable view of London visit the London Eye. This 135-meter-tall giant wheel stands on the banks of the River Thames. This slow-moving capsule provides a panoramic view of London like nowhere else. It is a two-minutes walk from the Big Ben located in the heart of the city. It is open from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. The standard ticket costs £27. You can make the experience more memorable by adding wine or champagne to the tour. You can also book a private capsule. It can also be clubbed with a river cruise of the Thames.